Since I don't do any of that Patreon stuff, if you want to support the channel, check out my book in the description below. Also, check out my artwork, my band, and coming up in Alabama, mid-May, the 14th and the 15th, we're doing a treehouse and tiny house building workshop. Hands-on details down below. Hi, I'm Jessica, and I am building two tiny shipping container homes. This one that I'm sitting in currently was originally going to be a shed for if I purchased land. And the land fell through, had problems with the septic, so I ended up turning it into a tiny house as well. We opened up the doors so that you have four extra feet of space. And it's a secondary little tiny home. I had a lot of health issues from being exposed to toxic mold and high levels of EMF. So my shipping container tiny homes are a way to be able to mitigate that problem and allow me to have a safe place to live. I've lived small a lot of my life. I've lived in very tiny spaces. I had a house for quite a while that was 360 square feet. And that was one of my favorite places that I ever lived. So this is just kind of a continuation of that. And it's a way to be able to live without having to pay rent somewhere because you're always helping somebody else be able to afford their dwelling. And this allows me to be able to have my own. And I don't need a lot. I think a lot of times we get really obsessed with having this, that, and the other newest gadget and gizmo. And we lose sight of the fact of that this is about having experiences and having a life where we have freedoms into it. And otherwise, it's just really hard to be able to do that. But having your own small house allows you that ability so that then you can have not only just a safe and ha healthy environment, but you have the ability to be able to do, do more things and actually have a life, go out and live life. This is the smaller section of the two containers. It is 15 feet of actual body plus four feet of the doors being opened. And we built this cool little shed style roof that goes over top of it and filled in the sections around the, um, where the doors open at. A sliding glass door is gonna go in this end. And as you can see, it has a overhang so that the water can shed more easily off of that and protecting the doors. All of the other doors and windows also have drip caps over top of them so that it sheds the water a little bit better. And underneath here we have a floor framed out with the doors welded open. A really nice big window on the left hand side there to bring in lots of light. There will be a ceiling fan that will be inside hanging from that first support bar there and this is just a really simple container um, it's intended to have the bed here at this end and then it will have a countertop and kitchen sink on the right hand corner with an under counter fridge and on the left hand side it will have a toilet framed in on the left hand side and then beside that it will have a freestanding shower so you'll have all of your needs met in this cute little abode all of the seal the seals will be um or seams i guess you should say will be sealed and uh with loctite which is what they use for all of the shipping containers and it is so wonderfully waterproofed they have things that they have holes where they have filled it in with Loctite and 15, 20 years later, it's still waterproof, which is just so cool. So all of the raw seal will be um, primed and then it will be painted. And today I am trying out a couple more tubs of some sample colors to decide what color that we are going to do this one in. So again, big sliding glass door at that side and as you can see, it has an awning style roof that comes down there. And all of these 
uh, penetrations that you see little tiny pieces of, of light coming through will be sealed with Loctite. And the floor from the underside will be welded to the, um, they're gonna pick it up with a forklift and then tack weld that up to the, um, the support system so that it doesn't have any deflection in it. And again, big sliding glass window, door rather, huh? and a big three foot by three foot window, which will have the sink over top of that, which will just be so lovely. The other thing that Living Small lets me do is to eventually be able to be out of debt, and that's huge. And paying for my own dwelling, that's mine. And getting to be able to do it on my own space and give to my house. Whereas when I was renting from other people, you never really get to rent, you never get to do it on your space because there's always somebody else's. And even if it is some place that allows you to do those things, you have to leave them when you go elsewhere. And here you get to do nice things for yourself and for your space and turn that into your house, into your home. And that's just wonderful. I can't think of anything better than that, than being able to have your own space.